run, run, run. Got you now. I won't take the shortcut because I don't want to risk crashing. When you know, whenever I exit. What the heck? Good job I rolled. Good thing I rolled into that. Whoa, what the? And that was unexpected. Jeez, it's like all the cars just decided to gang up on me. No one ever takes the higher route. It'll be perfect. Come on. Two, one. Aha! The higher road always gets you first place. Complete all events in championship mode and ultimate racer mode to reveal a super bonus event. Really? So there's a bonus within the bonus after completing the game on the other mode. Geez, that's the real bragging rights reward there. Hi. My entire right thumb's discolored for holding on the X button for 42 straight minutes. Kind of hurts. Oh well. At least with that bonus event out of the way. There's only one race left. When this one-on-one -on -one match between Ferrari 360 Spider Convertibles and become the Hot Pursuit 2 champion. So this is the bonus vehicle we'll get if we complete such a feat, huh? I guess the only thing left to do is go all the way back to Hot Pursuit mode. All right. Let's get scenic with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I guess if Shade Raygun were here, he'd probably go along with the logic that since we're entering hot pursuit mode, <laughs> uh, that means that we're going to have to witness the uh, downfall of all the civilian cars from the very start. Well, I guess I should note a few design changes, or rather, just one small interface change now that we're in hot pursuit mode. You see below the um, rear view mirror shield in the upper uh, part of the screen? You'll see that bar there? I'll explain it whenever it starts uh, beeping, to, to be uh, accurate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The police cars are represented on the map by blue triangles. You can have, I think, up to two of them on you at one time. It's a four-star record. Um, so basically, if you get up to... Ouch! If you get up to four stars, which I just did, then they'll start calling in barricades. Great, so they're not going to shoot my tires out from what they said. Good thing these guys are dumb enough to run right into rock walls. Holy crap! You'll never catch me alive, you'll never catch me alive. You never want to stop around the police car when it's chasing you. If it does, you're automatically arrested. Get three arrests and you're out for the count. Oh, and, uh, I'm only doing this because it's a timed race and everything, but it is possible to completely avoid police cars chasing you if you just go slow enough on the right side of the road. 
and uh, AI also can get um, pulled over by police too, so if you're racing against other people in hot pursuit mode and the police cars come after them, you can essentially have them take all the heat for you, although eventually you'll have a cop car on you. One last interface change that you should note is that, uh, well, aside from civilian cars stopping when a police car is chasing you because, you know, sirens and everything, you can also hold the L1 button to look behind you and it will automatically lock onto the closest police car that's in pursuit of you at the moment. It's quite an interesting feat to, or addition to let you know where the police cars are if uh, you know they're chasing after you but you can't see the blue triangle in your uh, bottom half of the screen. Hmm? Oh, if, it, if you press L1 and look behind you whenever you think there was a police car chasing you and you don't see it, then I guess it means he despawned. He was too slow. I am amazing. Is there anything else I'm missing? I guess there's one last interface change involving the detection bar beneath the uh, rear view mirror. Whenever it's green and it goes into the red, that means you're getting close to a police car. But, if they've called a barricade on you of any sorts, if it's yellow and then goes into the red, that means that there's going to be a, um, well, a barricade up ahead. There's a way to detect to see how you can get around the barricade, though, without even going up to it and looking right in its face. But, I'll save that for whenever we actually have to deal with barricades. Which, considering how close I am to the end of this event, I don't think we're going to be seeing any. Um, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Uh, this one's this one won't take into effect until later, but depending on the tier of car you have, the tier of police officer will change as well. So, I have a Lotus Elise, which is like a tier 1 car. You'll be chased by tier 1 Ford Crown Victoria cops. You have just won the Lotus Elise delivery. You've unlocked the Lotus Elise. You beat the track record! <laughs> be the track record of being chased by cops. That doesn't give me a good feeling, but it's need for speed. That's what happens. It may have taken us about, what, 70 plus videos to get here? But now, with this out of the way, I welcome all my patient Let's Players to the Hot Pursuit part of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. When we return, we're going after the Opal Speedster NFS.